We're gonna do a big tall veil on this left hand side and then more of a babbly brook style around on the right side, creating a plant pocket inside the waterfalls. The reason we're doing the split waterfalls is let me come to the back side of the berm and show you. So we have a kitchen window right here that we want to be able to capitalize that view. And then of course another window, but then this gorgeous addition back here where it's all big glass windows. So we wanna make sure that we can really frame out the views from all inside the house over here. What is up everybody, Chris and Team Aquascape with Jack, Seth, Corey, and Dan. We've got the five of us today and we are in the beautiful northwest suburb of Park Ridge. We have a very cool kind of boutique pondless waterfall that we're gonna be doing today. It's a one day project. The guys just got here. You see we've got the dingo, the rubber mats for all the ground protection and we've got all our wheelbarrows and our ball carts sitting right in front of our pile of stone. We've got seven tons of boulders and another ton of gravel that we're gonna move back. It's all gonna go through this way. We gotta get the ground protection protection down so we can start moving this stuff. I'm gonna take you back there and show you what the scope of the project is. All right, so here is the scene of the crime. We are going to be taking these nine small aqua blocks, digging our reservoir in right in through here. There's gonna be a lot happening. It's gonna be a tall waterfall. We're gonna do a big tall veil on this left hand side and I'll explain why in a second and then more of a babbly brook style around on the right side, creating a plant pocket inside the waterfalls. The reason we're doing the split waterfalls is let me come to the back side of the berm and show you. So we have a kitchen window right here that we want to be able to capitalize that view. And then of course another window, but then this gorgeous addition back here where it's all big glass windows. So we wanna make sure that we can really frame out the views from all inside the house over here. And then of course you have the garage right over here. So I wanna be able to make sure that they can see it from there, from there, and all from in through here, as well as whenever they have our entertaining out on this space, they've got the Barbie over there. So we just wanna make sure that we're doing this correct and and letting them enjoy the water feature from all the different viewing angles. So the battery died, but as I was saying, we had to move some stuff around. So we reconfigured the electrical as well as the water spigot that's over there. We ended up flip-flopping them, taking the water all the way back and then getting the electric a little bit closer to where the pump is located. The homeowners are gonna bring an electrician out to lower that box to disguise it a little bit more. We're gonna redefine this bed edge so we can put some spots for plants around that electrical box because I don't wanna be staring at that, but you can see the guys have already dove in to digging the reservoir out itself. We've got these nine small small aqua blocks, which gives us probably a six by eight, nine foot hole. We also have another five yards of dirt that's going to be brought in to help generate our berm back here to create a nice little planting area to alleviate that volcanic look. We're gonna go down about 14 inches deep with the reservoir depth and then dig our pump fault in another nine inches below that. And did the new guy just fill your boot with dirt, Corey? I mean, not twice for him, but wow. We're almost done digging the hole. We'll get our fabric liner in once we get our dry fit our aqua blocks, make sure that we dug everything correctly and then it's go time at some point when we get this pretty well dug out we're gonna pull a couple guys off and start moving rock from the front of the street into the back we'll start building some of our retaining wall but also start rocking in or start staging some of that rock for our waterfalls as well so we've got plenty of bodies here today it's gonna be a good day good learning day Seth's first day coming over from maintenance and then it'll be a good day for these guys hopefully it's a short one all right So big moment in the project. We've got our liner in. As you can see, you got Seth and Dan working on getting the top piece of underlay in. And we got our aqua box and our pump vaults. And the reason that is significant because it just marks a good milestone in the project. It's about 9.30 or so, maybe 10 o'clock. So we've only been on site for about an hour, 15 minutes, hour and a half. And we've made an incredible amount of progress. We've got probably four of the six yards of dirt already piled back behind the berm. We're gonna get our reservoir in and then start building our waterfalls. And then using that nice soft dirt to backfill against it, we'll compact it as we work our way up and then we'll build waterfalls.
see we've got the crew and the homeowners behind me taking it all in that is a wrap for today super impressed with the efficiency and the effectiveness that we work together as a team we cranked this project out it is about four o'clock and we only got out here about nine o'clock when we actually started so super pumped did a great job hope you guys enjoyed this episode until next time we'll see you later